suppose the, the range, the, the, oh yeah, so if f of, uh, when f of a, when, if you take the image of all of a and it hits all of b, this is a situation where the codomain is the range of this function. The range is f of a. So this is the range. This is the, it's the image of everything in a. When the range is all the codomain, then we say that f is onto. It's an onto function. There's another word that was actually popularized by uh, a group of French mathematicians. We say it's a surjection. Or if you're French, you might say surjection. OK? Sur, of course, means what? On, right? On or upon. So it, it hits everything. It's a son surjection. Surjection is a noun. Onto is a adjective, right? You could you call a function an onto function. Okay. You can make this an adjective by calling f surjective, right? Surjective, right? Okay. Good. Um, what else? Well, let's see. That's when you hit everything, and now. Uh, if it do never has multiple points getting sent to one point, we'll say it's one to one. And there's another way to say that is if the image of two points being equal implies that x and y are in fact equal, we'll say f is one to one. We have a special, there's another name we might, a uh, word we might associate to f. We'll say f is not a surjection, but a, an injection. Injection. Right. OK. OK. So uh, this is another way of saying it only sends one point to one point. If the image of two points is the same, those two points had to be equal. OK. Are you happy with that? Another way of saying a function is an injection is if the inverse image of a single point is a single point, right? Yeah, and, and you could, in fact, define a function that way. Great. So when both these things are true, when f is 1 to 1 and on to, we call f a bijection, right? Bijection. Happy with that? Okay. These are all terms that uh, come up quite a bit. Uh, we have a notation that sometimes uh, can be useful as shorthand, not on in formal writing, but just the shorthand. For surjection, we often write the arrow uh, with a double arrow at the end. For uh, injection, we imagine um, a little hook here. Okay. And a bijection is sometimes in shorthand written with both, with both uh, the hook and the double, the double uh, pointer. Okay, happy with that? Okay, so that's just to get a little bit of, um, of terminology out of the way. If you have a bijection, then uh, this bijection, notice, is a function that will, in fact, whose inverse is also a function, right? You can talk about the inverse of f. It will have everything as its domain, which is what you want. And it will send something over here to a unique thing over here, right? And the problem with some of my counting methods earlier is that you weren't happy unless this function were a bijection, right? If I said 1, 2, 3, well, that, that's a function that's not what? Onto. And if I said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I counted you more than once. It's not a, it's not what? 1 to 1, it's not a 1 to 1 function from the numbers 1 through 6 to the numbers, to the people in the first row. You guys are more than just numbers to me. Um, okay. <coughs> Great. So um, we call f a bijection. And in fact, and we say that a, and B are in one-to-one -one correspondence. This is a big term. 
one-to-one -one correspondence, okay? We might also write uh, A tilde B. It's not terribly standard notation, but in, in our context, we, in, in our book, we will shorthand uh, A and B are in one-to-one -one correspondence by using a little tilde, okay? Okay, so what's the, what's the point of one-to-one -one correspondences? Well, it's basically saying that, if you like, the number of things in one set is the same as the number of things in the other. If I haven't even defined the word number, but in some sense they have the same number of things because I, I can associate in a one-to-one -one way a number or one, a, a point in A with a point in B, okay? And in our case, when we count one, two, three, four, five, six, what am I using for the set A? Natural numbers or some subset of them, right? The first portion, okay? Okay, so um, what do I mean by counting? Well, what I'm just gonna refer to this as elementary counting. I am using, as one of my subsets, a set which I'll call uh, J sub n, which uh, I'm going to uh, uh, w use to mean uh, 1 through n, a subset of the natural numbers, okay? That's what elementary counting is doing, is associating one through six with the first people, the people in the first row. Everybody happy with this? Isn't this, in fact, what we do when we count? Isn't this what a baby does when she's counting the number of toes on her foot, right? One, two, three, four, five, right? Yes? Okay. Good. Well, we have a, a, a very nice way now of associating numbers, uh, natural numbers anyways, with somehow the notion of size of a set, okay? So um, now if you give me a, if you give me a uh, set, I can count it. How can I count it? Well, here's a set. Maybe it contains a number uh, one, maybe it contains a smiley, cyclops smiley, a double smiley in the number pi. This is a set, okay? And uh, can I count the things in this set? Sure, I could count them in many ways. Of course, the one way you normally think about counting this is one, two, three, four, yes? But there's nothing stopping me from associating with my function, counting them in this order, is there? Right? So what I'm doing is I'm associating to J4 this function uh, that corresponds to whatever the set is called. Maybe I'll call this set A. I'm associating to a set one of these uh, initial segments of the natural numbers. Okay? You happy with that, Daniel? Okay. Okay, well, we've, we've, we've made a, a start here. Let's, um, so if I wanted to say, that, talk about the size of A, I might say that the size of A, which I will de denote by an absolute value, there's a symbol we sometimes use, is in this case what? Four, okay. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Interesting. So um, that's kind of cool. Is it possible to associate to every set a number, a natural number, in this way? Well, there's a question. There's an interesting question, right? I mean, for instance, if I look at uh, um, the numbers, uh, if I look at this set, well, first of all, is this definition even well defined? You hope it'd be well defined.